what makes a good chorus? Please! Everybody know Why have you been doing this? A good group of students. So the spring concert is in May. Um, it's coming up fast. So let's talk about some important stuff. Dress code. I don't want anyone to be wearing jeans, leggings, all black, no exceptions. As chorus president, I can say that we really are a good chorus. It's more than just a class to me, and I'm always ready to support it. They said what? <laughs> you know, that's funny. We suck. I mean, we certainly have personality, and we all get along. For the most part. But we need more people than anything. Our numbers are fleeting, and... I need the music credits for this class to be able to graduate. So that's all I have to say about the concert. We also need to think about how to recruit people for next year. Um, I've contacted the Mattress Fundraiser. They've agreed to sponsor us again. But we need a day to hold the fundraiser. You guys hear what the Soprano ones were saying? Apparently, they said that we're worse than the altos when it comes to knowing our part. That's ridiculous. Tenors and basses are the best in this chorus. Besides, soprano ones are literally so squeaky all the time. And we all know the altos are so quiet. Like, it's just ridiculous that they're talking about us behind our backs like this. Like, at this point, just say it to our faces, you know? Wait, where did you even hear this? I have my sources. Okay, look, we need to get the altos on our side. I mean, who actually likes the sopranos? We shouldn't be talking. We all get along. I'm not sure where you heard that we don't. I hate the Sopranos. We've always had an issue with talking. I don't know why. I've tried everything, but they just keep going. I've even gone as far as emotional manipulation. These kids don't understand what the Sopranos were like a few years back. I mean, we had some of the best and loudest voices on our side. I was sad to see them go and not thrilled with who was trying to take their place. Us Sopranos are the stars of the show. If we weren't here, you'd be listening to Little Drummer Boy without the melody. And who wants to hear that? I, <laughs> I mean, we are essential to this chorus. I just joined this class because I really like to sing. I didn't really expect all this. I just wanted everyone to get along. We're getting nowhere with proving that we're the best voice part. The baritones have been ruling loudly for far too long. You guys weren't here for it, but Sopranos used to rule the class. We were united and strong against the baritones. Even the president bowed down to us. It's still hard to believe that this is what we've become. Thanks to you guys. What? what? Uh, I, I didn't say anything. Okay, but I think they're onto us. Look at how they're all huddled over there, and they keep looking back. Who do they think they are? They're literally always just singing the melody, but an octave down. Look. I feel like we just need some healthy, constructive criticism. They might be quiet when singing, but a little birdie told me that they've got some volume up their sleeves. Being in chorus is excellent. I enjoy when all sides are at peace. Us old war dogs need to get our rest and sing a little song every now and then. But I've heard rumors that there's a storm brewing. We haven't had a battle in a few days, so this can only mean trouble. Okay, gang. I have an anonymous source that says both baritones and sopranos are looking for our help in the war. How are we going to do this? Uh, I don't know. This is like kind of the most work I've ever had to get on this class. We've been preparing for this. Peace couldn't be forever, especially with this being the last term for the president. We've got to make a choice, the right choice. Which side has more pros than cons? What's the best move? Why don't we just say neutral, since you can't decide? Neutral? That's ridiculous! What do you think? Huh? Huh? Oh. Um, I like that. We are a democracy. Uh, I guess that's what we'll do. My troops lack enthusiasm, but that's okay. A general makes use of what they can, and I will make the best out of my men. I know at some point, even if we're neutral, we'll have to offer air support. Guys, we need to run this number. Everyone take out for delicious. We need to clean up some measures. Um, measures 42 to 69. Eight. Um, let's, let's run through it completely first. Um, before we start, anyone have any questions? We definitely could spend more time on songs. It's just the class always talks. I wanted to make Mr. Brightside our sixth song, but we can barely even get through five. So I didn't want to push our luck. 
I mean, I haven't even chosen our last piece. And I told them that they could help. We get stuff done. We're just more of a procrastinating type, of course. I mean, everyone gets a little carried away when we're talking, but they always get back on track. Oh, we never shut up. I mean, it's definitely an issue, but I don't contribute to it. Well, like, sometimes, but not often. I know it's a problem. I know I contribute. So does everyone else, but I'm not going to stop. This class is just like those book clubs that moms go to. They just pretend it's to broaden their reading horizons, but they just drink wine and gossip about the other moms they don't like. I just want to sing. All right, let's start from the beginning. I'll, I'll give you guys three and then a breath and then we're in. All right. One, two, three. The They want my treasure, so their pleasures from my Okay, so that was good. Um, let's try that again. That's how every song starts. You should have heard Super Bass earlier. It was bad. As you can see, the songs we do in chorus are definitely modern. I know that a lot of people would like some more traditional choral pieces because they sound prettier and it's really just ridiculous that we're doing these songs. I mean, we don't sound good at... We are good at what we do. It's just that we aren't always happy singing the songs that we're given and without having the passion of loving a song, it drains all the energy out of a piece. I mean, I remember when I was in sixth grade and I wanted to do more modern songs. I mean, I got my wish, but honestly, I think I'd go back. Because have you ever heard the choral arrangement of the famine song? It sounds so much better than whatever the hell we're doing now. Look, as a unit, chorus can't always work together as a team. Mainly it's because of the infighting, but every army needs a strong leader, which is why I am the perfect choice. Once the president's term is over, someone will have to take the reins, and that will be me. While you are all small, we are mighty. I believe that with you behind me, we can lead this chorus to better days. <clears throat> Wonderful talk, men. That's what I like to see. We need to sabotage the baritones, but how? We could force them out and make their time here absolutely miserable. That's extreme, and I wouldn't even know how to start that idea. Blame them for talking. Shush to them to get the idea across. It's not like they're actually going to pay attention enough to tell them to stop. True, true. I can't think of anything that... What the hell? These stands are going to be the death of me. I have an idea. So, are you actually a baritone? Well... No. Nope. <laughs> no, not at all. Are all of our baritones actually altos, and some even mezzo-sopranos? Yes. But in a small school, you take what you can get, and it's okay. It's, if stuff needs to be sung an octave higher, then so be it. Most of the time. Sometimes it can kill the song. You know what would be a great song? Fireball by Pitbull. You know what? I really like that idea. Guys? Yes, I think that's a great song. I especially like that very deep fireball. I think it's definitely in the range of our baritones. I think we have the sheet in the music closet. I'm going to go take a look. And that's why I always Irish step dance. i got to go back to my seat. I ain't found them. You know what? I think we should do solos. I think each baritone can sing a fireball. And, uh, um, I can take a rap section. What you got there? Well, the Sopranos had a great idea of our fifth song being Fireball by Pitbull and gives each of you a solo when they actually say Fireball in the song. The chorus just agreed that they would like also like to do that, so we are. What a great idea. I will admit that the sopranos and baritones haven't always been on the best terms, and it's a generational thing that's been going on long before I got to this chorus. I hate those guys. They think that they're so great because they always get the melody in the songs, but the baritones have the best ooze you've ever heard. I mean, 
Sure, would it be nice to sing actual words? Yeah, but we're not gonna let them see our weaknesses. I knew sopranos were petty, but this petty? Somehow everyone but our teacher knows we can't hit those low notes, even on a good day. Did I sell out the baritones and dis disobey democracy? Maybe, but we need to be involved in the war. I don't care what they said or what they chose. I meant for combat, and I know what's right. It's okay that I betrayed everyone, all two of them. It's okay. Anything else you want to say? Nope, I'm good. Okay, we're not rolling. I mean, this is just humiliating. I'm a mezzo soprano, and you're expecting me to sing low J major sharp with a glissando, no less. With the seven codas and just that system alone, you'd think they'd have some sympathy with the time signature being 83 over 7. I mean, what the f*** is this person thinking? No, I get it. They're not respecting you. I've put my all into this stupid music department, and this is how I'm treated? The Sopranos better get out of the f way, because I'm tired of this f I'm after them. I'm sorry, man. That really sucks. So, I mean, like, are you going after the, the Sopranos now? I'm coming down on them with every single amendment, veto, legislation, and bill to put them into the ground. Hey guys, wait, something's different. Did you cut your hair? I did. What can we do for you, Mr. President? Well, our lovely teacher asked me to give this to you. It's this special type of Rice Krispie treat to warm up our range. The Paratones eat it religiously, and so does our teacher. In fact, she recommends that we all eat it. With the concert coming up, we want our voices to be in the best condition. Oh, that's so kind of you to offer. I mean, I think we sound great already. But if it's what the teacher wants, I'll give it to her. Great! That's wonderful. I mean, you guys should eat them right now. It really does work miracles. Oh, thank you so much. I'll try it right now. Delicious. Eat up. I do pride myself on making a dramatic exit. All right, before we begin, I'm going to have you all sing your parts individually. Sopranos. And a breath. Here is your starting note. One, two. Ah! Um, let's try that again. Same intro. One, two, three. Ah! I've never once heard that. In all my years, I did not so high and mighty now. Are this is mahogany. All is fair in love and war. I'm, I'm so sorry. I don't know what happened. I, I no, just... No, no, it... no. Let's just move on. Um, altos for measure... What in the world was that? I heard such a terrible noise. My throat saved me. I drank tea this morning. I steamed. I don't know why my voice sounds like this. What could have caused this? I woke up and I had my usual breakfast. Nothing out of the ordinary. I had an Uncrustable from the cafeteria for lunch and then I came here. Same, nothing out of the norm. Rice Krispie Treats. The president. What? This. It was sabotage. This is war. Aren't we already at war? Yes, but now we're at super war. Super war? Are you sure? I don't think you understand what this means. Think rationally. No, we have been mocked and humiliated. I will not let this happen again. I don't care. Honestly, I don't. They don't even know what I have to deal with. My blood, sweat, and tears go into this class, and I get nothing but disrespect. I even comfort the teacher. These brats have no idea how much of their chorus life is held up by me. I've stayed quiet for far too long. I can't keep living like this. If it wasn't my last term, I'd be quitting. I'm tired of not having authority. I'm the damn president of this course, and I deserve respect. Fireball. I know that's low, but you guys can hit it. You gave us the Rice Krispie Treats. You sabotaged us. Don't try and deny it. Please control yourself. I have no idea what you're talking about. I never saw any Rice Krispie Treats. Then what is this? Why, I've never seen that in my life. 
Why would our president, the person we swore in to protect us, give you a Rice Krispie treat? Dairy is so bad for your throat. It's one of the worst things you can do for your vocal cords. Everybody knows that. Exactly. I would never do anything to intentionally cause harm to your vocals. It's simply not the presidential way. You, you, you look different. Oh, I got a new blush. Anyways, I would advise you to stop making ridiculous claims and sit down. Guys, we can't learn a new song if we're talking. No, I won't. She did this. Guys, back me up. It's true. She gave us the Rice Krispie treat. Look, I'm sure it was a mistake. The president specifically said to eat these for our vocal cords. Oh, please. Now you're acting irrationally. Is it the sugar rush? It's just because we're better, isn't it? I know you're a mezzo at heart. You're just jealous because for the last six years you've been singing melodies that aren't even in your range. You're just jealous because we have the best parts. You wish you could sound like us, like me. Oh, please, everybody knows you sound bad. I only gave you those Rice Krispie treats to get back at you for sticking us with the lowest note. Oops. <laughs> that was a joke. I was just kidding. That was a joke. I, I didn't mean it. Th that's not why I did it. Liar! You admitted! Look at your president now. We will not follow such a dictator. Raise your hands if you will forfeit your allegiance to the president and join us in a new way of life! What? But she just admitted to giving us the Rice Krispie treats. She's not the leader we thought she was. Yes, but... Everyone makes mistakes, and while she might not regret it now, she's never wronged us in the past. With her leadership, we've had fun in this class, no matter how many bickering or glaring matches we've gotten into. I have to agree. I've been in this chorus for quite some time, and our president has yet to wrong us. I feel as though we put too much pressure on her, and you need to find it in your heart to forgive. Think about how many times you tried to sabotage the baritone. I mean, she just says she gave you Rice Krispies only because you convinced the teacher to give them each solo out of their range. There was a time once long ago when we all were together in harmony. And not just with our friendships, but with our vocals. We all got along so well that our voices blended into one and we, we sounded beautiful. Maybe we should just put this all behind us and start a new era. I, I don't know what to say. It's, it's all so overwhelming. Everything crashing down around me. It has made me realize the error of my wicked ways. Baritones, I'm sorry for making you sing out of your ranges. Thank you. And I'm sorry that last year I gave you all the bad music stands. That means a lot. And the time when I super glued your sheet music to the ceiling. Wait, what? You've made me realize how crude I've been. I'm so sorry. Intervening when I see fit. I told our elder soprano to try and recruit the altos. I gave second in command the hint that the altos were joining the sopranos. I gave the idea that the baritones could have had a hard solo. I told you to look closer when looking at the Rice Krispie treats. I gave the president the Rice Krispie treats. It has always been me. I am the chorus rat. Why have you been doing this? In a simple word. Stop cursing us with your knowledge, foul witch! Listen to me. You needed to come together. I know I seem like the bad guy, but I helped you. Can you not see? You're united. You can blend again. This needed to happen. I couldn't listen to your crunchy harmonies anymore. And before you ask, no, not the good kind. This is freedom. You know what? <laughs> I think this was for the better. Thank you, Horace Rat. I think we might just be okay. 
Right? Right. Woo! Yes! You're so I wish they were here. <laughs> Inspirational. I wish they had I'm just so proud of They're so I, really I wish they were here to see. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah.